Hey everybody, so today I wanted to talk about what makes a computer great for video editing. I've been getting a lot of questions about the system that I use, which is a Hackintosh, and I might not be the most computer technical person, so I figured I'd hand it over to my boy Renan, who actually built the system, and have him tell you a little bit about it. My name is Renan. Uh, I work here at Logica Computer Professionals. I'm the founder and owner of the store. Uh, personally, I'm an MCP, MCSE, A+, and Apple Certified Tech. Uh, we have here a Hackintosh computer, which is a CTO Mac PC, or you can figure to order Mac PC. So we built this about um, maybe a couple of years ago. This is uh, um, an i7 configuration, and it just went through an entire facelift. Uh, we put in a brand new video card. We jumped in from a GTX 760, which is it's just so inferior in comparison to the GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, as you guys may know, the GTX 1080 Ti is an 11 gigabyte video, um, video RAM graphics card that it has its own dedicated GPUs. It's got multi-core GPUs. It helps immensely when it comes to uh, latency, all the way up to graphics acceleration, uh, uh, multitasking when it comes to rendering. The, the Mac Pro, or what a lot of people like to call them unfortunately is the trash can, uh, it, it it has 16 gigs of RAM, has a Xeon, which is more than anything, it's a server-based processor. Um, so when it comes to rendering, when it comes to uh, like video solutions, graphics, things like that, it doesn't really match up against an i7. Right there alone, you have uh, an inferior processor that has less compatibility with the way and the structure that, that software um, is actually written. The garbage can uh, retail value is around three grand. You can get at a good price for like 2700 and we're talking about we're talking about parts that, that will, will, will cost you half that price it's not in any way a Mac emulator it works exactly just like just like a typical Mac just almost two to three times more the specs for half the price that's a nice thing I mean personally you know I like I like options and when it comes to buying uh, a set product uh, that's what you're getting if if Andrew or if anybody buys a computer two years ago and they, they outgrow their computer, uh, unfortunately when it comes to an Apple computer you're very limited as far as what upgrades you can do. So chances are you're going to have to move on to another computer, a totally different Mac, a totally different system. And uh, with, with a Hackintosh, the Hackintosh gets to grow with you. You can build just about any configuration you wish. My thoughts are pretty much the same as Renan's. The ability to customize something unlike the Macs is a huge advantage in today's video editing world where things change so fast. If I need to swap out some ports, if I want to switch over to a new Thunderbolt port, if I want a USB-C port put in, I can make that happen. Having something completely customizable is truly the way to go right now and make sure that you don't get stuck with something that you can't update down the road. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a lot about Hackintoshes. Make sure to comment, subscribe, and come back for more.